Whoops. Oh, this is all cockeyed. Hold on a second here. What is going on here? Is that even? No, not yet. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Trying to get the horizon even. Anyway, good morning and welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 852. 852. Oh shoot, I might have said it wrong on a promo video this morning. Oopsie. Anyway, uh, you know what today is. It's Giveaway Thursday. Also known as Friday Eve. Happy Friday Eve, everybody. Uh, if you're joining me live, please say hello. If you end up watching the recorded version, please also feel welcome to say hello, ask me questions, let me know what you've been working on. I'm going for beachy waves again today. I've been working with uh, sea salt spray this week and I've been having fun with top buns. We'll see if I end up figuring out a good style or not. <laughs> Anyway, I think I saw Joe and Thea. Good morning, Grace, Sharon. Welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. Hi, Barb and Christine. Lisa. Lisa's working on the Athena. Yay! I brought the Athena with me this morning. I was going to try it on. Hi, Lorraine and Jane and Rita. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Edna and Constance. Hi, Marsha. Good morning. Hi, Brenda. It's a crochet day for you. Wonderful. Yeah, it's always a knitting and crochet day for me, too. Hi, Melanie and Brenda. Good morning. Happy Thursday, everybody, also known as Happy Friday Eve. And it's Giveaway Thursday, which means we will be announcing the winner of last week's giveaway, which was for one ball of Be So Fine yarn. And then at some point today in the podcast, I think I ought to announce the this week's contest, uh, but we'll do that later in the episode. What else did I want to share with you? Oh, in addition to the... Uh, thanks, Judy. Judy's posting a link to the dress that I'm wearing. Yeah, I love this print. I have this print on two different dresses. I'm wearing the, uh, the Fit and Flare one. It's a little bit above the knee. And then I also have this print in a maxi dress. It's a rather large floral on a navy background with some beautiful light blue and bright pink and um, pink and burgundy and some purple in there so pretty i love 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 this print i think it works with lots of things in my closet including i brought out two shrugs to show you how to wear with it today i brought out the fine jillian shrug in be so fine yarn I thought this one looked really pretty with it. If you wanted to wear something over your arms and, and cover your arms, I thought this one looked super pretty. And then also the Athena shrug. I brought both of those to show you. Back up so you can see the whole outfit. This one, these are both crochet patterns you can find on my website in the shop. And this one's in Be So Fine yarn. It's called the Fine Jillian Shrug. And then i am also brought the Athena Shrug, which is made in Be So Sporty yarn. This one is the one we're doing the live premiere of the four-part video series this week. I believe today will be video part three. Yeah, part three? Yeah, I think today's gonna be part three. And that will live premiere right after the podcast. I did surprise you with an extra tutorial video yesterday afternoon. And if you didn't get a chance to watch it yet, I think you're going to absolutely love it, but I'll tell you about it in a second. This is the Athena Shrug. Both of these are sized also. So you can choose from several sizes in both of these patterns and they are both different construction styles as well. terribly windy here today. Might, it's actually getting very warm. It's very steamy. Uh, my hair is kind of going frizzy already. I will put salt, sea salt spray in my hair this morning and uh, I feel like my hair is just going frizzy and it's getting really warm. Um, oh, there we go. Judy just posted a link to the uh, video part three that will be live premiering 
after the show today. So if you would like to join me for that, you can. Uh, we'll do a live premiere right after the show, and then after that it goes to recording. And then it's a regular video on YouTube, so you can watch it anytime you want. Play, pause, whatever. Anything you need to help supplement the pattern plus sizes plus charts that you can get on my website. So, Christine, you could absolutely try making the Athena uh, crochet shrug and be so fine yarn. You'll just have to adjust your gauge accordingly and figure out what size is closest to whatever gauge you come up with. It would be absolutely beautiful in be so fine yarn. Okay. Speaking of which, just to show you the difference in drape, hopefully you can, this is sporty in lace, and then this is be so sporty in lace and be so fine in lace. I think you can even just tell from this photo side by side that this is definitely a finer fabric than the sporty. Even though they're both beautiful and they both have amazing drape, you can see a, a, a difference. Ah, Julia just bought be so sporty yarn, wonderful. Uh, Nicole likes Be So Baby Yarn. Wonderful. Hi, Nanette. So still have the sale going on this week for Be So Sporty Yarn. So for every three balls you buy, you get one free. Uh, so anytime you put four balls of yarn into your cart and add the coupon code SPORTYBOGO, you enter it into the space that says uh, coupon code, hit apply, and for every four balls of yarn of Be So Sporty you put in your shop, one will be discounted to free. So that applies to four balls, eight balls, 12 balls. There is no limit uh, for every four balls you purchase, you get one free. So hopefully that makes sense. And that's going on through Sunday. So if you want to take advantage of that sale, you can. And it applies to Be So Sporty and Be So Sporty Silver Bling and Be So Sporty Gold Bling. Uh, these two yarns are both 100% bamboo for the person who is asking. Be So Fine Yarn, the one that we're giving away today, is 100% bamboo, number one fingering weight. And Be So Sporty Yarn is number two sport weight, also 100% bamboo. The person asking about milk cotton and milk yarn, Be So Baby Yarn is made out of milk yarn, is milk, and uh, Be So Easy Yarn is 100% milk cotton. So think that might be what you're asking about. Yes, there's nothing more beautiful than drapey yarn, Nicole. I 100% agree. It makes way more attractive garments. I feel that way about store-bought clothes as well. Anytime a fabric is stiff, it's not nearly as figure flattering as when a fabric has some movement to it and has some drape. So whether you're buying store-bought clothes or hand making your clothes with knitting, crochet, or fabric, I feel like the more fluid your fabric is, the more drapey it is, the more flattering the garments are than, that you wear. No matter what size you are, uh, it's always more flattering to wear something with some movement. So that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. Nicole knits and crochets. Yay, good for you. That's awesome. I like both as well. So let's see, I did bring my iPad today so we can, who's ready to pick a winner for the uh, last week's giveaway of one ball of Be So Fine Yarn. Are we ready? So I will be picking the winner and announcing it here this morning, but as soon as I get back to my studio, I will um, announce the winner on the actual giveaway video, which was episode 848 of Create, Share, Inspire podcast, and I will reply to every single person who enters the contest. So every commenter will get a reply from me, whether you won or not. It will take hours to do, but I feel like it's definitely important. Okay, are we ready? Choose a random winner now. Okay, uh, unique commenter 234. Winner's name is Dawn. Congratulations, Dawn. You are the winner of Be So Fine Yarn. I will reply to Dawn to, uh, to contact me with shipping information when I get back to my studio, and I will reply to everyone else to let them know that I appreciate them playing the game and that they did not win. So, we uh, unique commenter 234. I guess we have lots of commenters, uh, and her name is Dawn. So yay, congratulations, Dawn. So you know what that means. What does that mean? 
we have to pick a new prize for this week. And I got to tell you, I had so many ideas this morning that I can't pick. So I'm wondering if you would like to give me some suggestions for what we should do for this week's giveaway. Should we give away a ball of Be So Sporty yarn? Should we give away a book? Should we give away some patterns? Should we give away a crochet toolkit? Should we give away some bags? Um, what else? What else? Would you like me to do Be So Baby yarn again? Should we do Be So Easy yarn? We haven't done Sporty yet. I could give away a ball of Be So Sporty yarn this week. Um, we've done we've done a few things. We haven't done patterns. We could do Be So Clean yarn. Uh, we could do the journals. Not Be So Clean yarn, Be So Clean soap. <laughs> There's a reason why I mix that in with yarn, and I will tell you about that next week, but not this week. <laughs> in fact, I think we're going to save Be So Clean because I have a very exciting, fun announcement for Be So Clean Soap next week. So we'll leave that one for next week. And how's that for a teaser? I have a very exciting, very, very exciting announcement for Be So Clean next week. So uh, Be So Clean is my non-toxic, amazing, all-natural soap. You can find it in three sizes on my website and it comes in seven delicious all natural essential oil scents well six scents and one unscented you can learn all the amazing benefits of my soap on my website as well thank you Rianon. this is uh, a dress for my amazon shop you can check it out uh, at amazon.com slash shop slash kristen Amdahl. hi dave good morning all right, I think the overwhelming number of responses that said give away a ball of Be So Sporty yarn is the ticket. So for this week, we're gonna give away one ball of Be So Sporty yarn, and next week I'll make an announcement about Be So Clean and do the giveaway for that next week. Nicole, you will love the soap, it's amazing. Okay. All right, so. Here's what you're going to do to enter to win a ball of Be So Sporty Yarn. I don't have one with me, but this is made in Be So Sporty Yarn. Hi, Gina from Turkey. Glad you could join us. Uh, yes, Be So Sporty and Be So Fine Bling Yarns are the bamboo yarns that have a thread of pure silver plied right into the yarn. They are absolutely amazing. Uh, they make absolutely gorgeous fabric with a slight shimmer to it. Um, good for you, Joe you got an eBay lucky dress and you washed it and be so clean. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, you always want to use a delicate uh, all natural soap for anything that's any type of a delicate garment. So whether it's bathing suit, lingerie, shapewear, hand knit, hand crochet, anything that an, an, or an exotic fiber, you always want to either hand wash or delicate cycle wash in a laundry bag with the most natural soap you can find. And the reason being is that it's the harsh detergents in commercially made soaps that break down the fibers. It breaks down the fibers of natural fibers as well as breaking down the fibers of elastic. So whether you're looking to maintain expensive shapewear, maintain expensive lingerie or swimwear, that elastic is just as delicate as delicate fibers, as natural fibers. Isn't that amazing? So you always want to avoid the dryer because if the heat will break down those uh, fibers as well but also harsh chemicals in detergents. So anytime you have a, a delicate fiber, whether it's sheer chiffon or natural fibers in knitting and crochet or, nat or delicate stitches in knitting and crochet or shapewear, lingerie, swimwear, or anything store-bought that's very delicate or even lace or eyelet, you always want to wash those things at least in uh, a laundry bag if you're going to do the delicate cycle on your washing machine or hand wash and the, the most gentle soap that you can find. And that's why I have a delicate, our natural soap, Be So Clean. Um, I did not create the earrings I'm wearing, but you can find these in my Amazon shop. They're like in a huge collection of earrings. I got, uh, it was very cheap. I think they turned out to be like a dollar a pair when you buy the collection of them. And they came in so many cute colors. Some of these are like a faux stone, and then there was some rattan, and what else was in there? So many, and a lot of, and some tortoise shell too. 
acrylic. They're all acrylic. These are acrylic and super lightweight. Hi, Joe. Thank you, Judy. Judy's posting links to everything we're talking about also. So if you're interested in anything that you've asked about, uh, Judy's posting links in the live chat right now. And there will be show notes in the video description when the show's over. Brings me back. Okay, so as soon as this live stream of Create, Share, Inspire podcast episode 852 is done, YouTube turns it into a video. Once they do, you have the ability to leave uh, static or comments that will stay below the video, not the live chat like we're doing now, but when you have the opportunity to come back and leave a comment, it is every every comment is an entry to win the giveaway for this week. I ask that you only comment one time to be entered uh, and we will filter out any duplicates when we choose the random winner next week, but you have all week to enter. So on it's this episode that will be the yarn giveaway for one ball of Be So Sporty yarn. So you just leave a comment on video episode 852 to be entered to win. And then next Thursday, I'll randomly generate the winner from one of the comments, announce it on next week's Thursday giveaway podcast, and then come back to this video and reply to everybody there. Okay, does, does that make sense? It sounded way more wordy than it needed to be. <laughs> Good morning, Chris. Wow, for being a little breezy, it's still really warm and uh, humid here. There's a bunch of people out in the water down there. Look at all the people down there. The water is so warm this time of year though, it's already getting so warm. Quite a few people beaching over here too. And here's, let's go to the other side too. Look at those big, beautiful cypress trees that I'm sitting in front of. That's what's giving me this nice little bit of shade to keep it a little cooler. I know the sound of the waves are so nice today and I'm able to sit closer to the water here. So remember how I said I was gifted a used um, a beach umbrella recently? Turns out that it uh, is broken. Isn't it funny when someone gives you a hand-me-down and they really, broken. I don't quite understand that. You could have just thrown it out, I guess. But anyway, so I, I dragged this umbrella that was new to me, but was used and I dragged it all the way to the beach only to find out it's completely rusted and the pieces don't join together anymore. So anyway, I threw it out, which means now, uh, you know, how I was talking about going to other beaches. I'm guessing other beaches aren't going to have a whole lot of shade like this beach does with these gorgeous trees. Um, I'll come back to your question in a second about baby crochet. Uh, so before we start exploring other beaches, I need to have a backup shade source with me. So I've got to get an umbrella after all or figure out how to attach that umbrella to the dolly. Anyway, uh, so someone was just asking if I had newborn baby patterns. Yes, I do. Uh, you can find patterns in my pattern shop, you can search uh, knit and crochet patterns by baby as a type of pattern. And also my 100% donated to charity book, the only book that I uh, have written that's 100% of the proceeds are donated to charity is Be So Caring. And in Be So Caring book, there are lots of crochet uh, garments for babies in lots of sizes. So you, you can find those patterns there as well. Now the patterns in Be So Caring paperback book and ebook are exclusive to the charity books uh, so they aren't not they are not available as individual downloads but you can get the book including all of the baby patterns in there as well and then there are extra patterns on my website so if you have any trouble finding anything please let me know Judy's just posted some links to baby patterns as well uh, and if you can't oh and there's a link to the be so caring book also you can see everything that's in there. And if you still can't find what you're looking for, please let us know. Be happy to help. Does anybody have any other questions? I will wait a second to see if there's more questions before I move on. I did mention shawl pins yesterday, so I have brand new styles of shawl pins in my shop, uh, including 
three different types of wood this time. We have the African ebony, African rosewood, and African blonde wood in seven different new styles, all in my, on my website, and they're a set, uh, $9.99 a piece. You can find those. Yes, Judy is amazing. Thank you for all of the links, Judy. Judy, that's so amazing and so convenient for everybody. I know how much everybody likes to get those instant links to what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't really share uh, about future yarns before they're released. I'm always looking for new and exciting things behind the scenes, but uh, I don't have any announcements to make a new yarn today. <laughs> but I am always open to suggestions. So if you have a suggestion for something that you're interested in that I don't currently offer, you know you can always say, you can always share that with me. Uh, I did wanna show you my progress on my new piece in the Sew Baby Yarn. So originally I wanted to do a vest where each half would go over your shoulder. And so this would be one half and this would be one half. And then I started thinking that, you know, this is kind of a little short for that. But then I realized last, this morning actually, what I really would like to do is make this, make these two the sleeves so that they come like this and go down. And so, and then they would be separate on the front and then joined on the back. And then I'm going to make the waistline in like a solid fabric down here instead. And I think I might even put buttons or a tie here so that it'll be kind of like a cardigan slash vest. And the longer you make these sleeves, the longer it could be of a cardigan, uh, but it's going to be, I really wanted these scallops to go sideways, not up and down. Now I could still change my mind and make it more of a Ruana and make this the back and then make two halves for the front. Uh, this is Tutu in Be So Baby Yarn, which is a very pale peach. But can you kind of see where I'm going here now? So it'll be like a V-neck and V-back, but on the back side. So imagine this was the back. The back would be joined from here to there, and then the front would be open all the way down. And then from here, then I'd add a little bit of a waistband in a solid fabric. So I do feel like... Uh, there was a point when I was like, I don't think I did the right repeats and the right numbers. And I said, you know what, just keep going. Something else will come to you. And I was right. I stopped worrying about it and just kept working on the stitch pattern. And now the idea came to me that I'm happy with. And so I have more inspiration to keep going on it <laughs> instead of back burnering. Instead of back burnering it. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? We've talked about a lot today. Yeah, Tina, I have a lot of stuff. Uh, it's some days it's more stuff than others, but yeah, that's why I have a wagon to take things to the beach sometimes. Um, in fact, I bought another little something on eBay, or not eBay, on Amazon this morning. I bought a little flat table that's bamboo that folds up because I thought it would be really wonderful if sometimes we did tutorials down here and I just can't do it without a table. And so I found this table that's about this long, that wide, and only this high off the ground. Um, uh, no, I don't have a golf cart, Tina. I don't have a golf cart. Besides, everything's manual with me, you know that. I don't do anything automated. <laughs> Hi, Maribel. But I thought this table might be a great opportunity to be able to uh, do some tutorials down here at the beach. Wouldn't you like to watch tutorials and hear the beach in the background? I figured between the lighting being supreme with natural lighting and also with the sounds of the waves and maybe an angle where you can see a little of the water, would you like tutorials like that? Hi, Lori, good morning. Lisa and Donna say yes, Sanchel says yes. I'm not sure if the sound would be distracting or not in a tutorial, but we can certainly try it and see, right? Uh, yeah, oh, I do have a golf cart, G-U-L-F. Yes, I have a golf cart, G-U-L-F, named Dolly. Yes, absolutely. All right, we have a couple minutes before the podcast, or before the 
live premiere of the Athena Shrug video premiere part three begins. So let's pull out a quote. The next quote is, ooh, this is wonderful. This is a Chinese proverb. This is from uh, Create, Share, Inspire Notebook, Volume 1, Issue 2. Deal with the faults of others as gently as with your own. <laughs> this one's kind of double, double-edged for me because I feel like I'm more harsh on myself than I am on others. So you could take this either way. Whoever you're more harsh with, try to be as gentle with that person as you are with other people, right? So whether you're someone that's harsh on your, more harsh on yourself than others, you could take this in the opposite way, or if you're really critical of others and you're not of yourself. So however, just try to make it more balanced, right? Just try to make it more balanced. So try to be less harsh on whoever you're the most harsh with. <laughs> so thank you to this Chinese proverb, proverb, deal with the faults of others as gently as with your own. Uh, I think that that's lovely. How, however you want to place the weight of the faults, uh, whoever you're the most harsh with, you could definitely wear them. Uh, the bamboo yarns are all manufactured here, uh, milled and dyed here in the U.S. Let's see. Uh, yes, just be more balanced. Absolutely. All right, so what did we say? We're going to, uh, we announced the winner here for the Be So Fine yarn from last week's giveaway. I will update all of the entries on that as soon as I get back to my studio this morning. This week, we're going to give away a ball of Be So Sporty yarn, 100% bamboo, number two sport weight. It is the yarn that's used to make the Athena Shrug. If you leave a comment on this video anytime this week, one comment per entry or per person, please. Uh, you will be entered to win a ball of Viso Sporty Yarn, and I will announce the winner next Thursday on the podcast. And then come back to this video and let everybody know. Also, we're doing the live premiere of Athena Crochet Shrug video uh, in two minutes. So if you want to join me over there, Judy's posted a link to the video. If you can join me, that would be wonderful. I'd love to have you. I will be in the live chat, so if you have live questions for me, I can answer them in real time. But if you end up watching the recorded version, that's totally fine also because you, I get notified of all those comments throughout the day, so I'm happy to help if I can. And all of the links for the pattern and Be So Sporty Yard are in the video description of that video, so whatever I talk about in that video, there are links to find everything there. Hopefully I've answered everyone's questions. I hope you enjoyed the beach today. I hope you enjoyed the sunrise, the sounds of the waves, the beautiful scenery, all my show and tells, and the giveaway, chatting with me and everyone else. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.